Today's shocking news. Anna Duggar visits her husband Josh regularly with their seven children in his dangerous Texas prison. Anna is standing by her husband Josh's side as he serves a 151-month sentence for his child pornography conviction at FCI Seagaville in Dallas, Texas. A family member of an inmate imprisoned with Josh explicitly told the U.S. Sun that Anna visits her husband frequently with their seven young children. The insider claimed, We've seen Anna at visitation fairly regularly. I've spoken to Anna a couple of times. Normally the only thing I've seen is Anna and then their kids, I don't really know anybody else. The source said the prison has board games and blocks to keep children busy during visitation. The family member claimed visitation could be difficult for loved ones, especially since visitors are unable to wear scarves, provocative clothing, and more. The source alleged, it's kind of a crapshoot on whatever they're going to say is out of policy today. They tried to turn me away because I was wearing a dress. I had worn the same dress the week before and they said it was fine. But this time they said it was too sexually provocative. The insider alleged visitors never get in on time and are left waiting for hours. The family member added, there's always a delay. A couple of weeks back, they said that the electricity was down. It goes in and out all the time so they use it as an excuse to make us wait for a couple of hours before we could get in. Visitation is supposed to start at 8.15 a.m. and run until 3.30 p.m. I get there around 7 o'clock a.m. just to be early in the line because it's first come, first serve, and they start processing us any time between 8.15 a.m. to 9.30 a.m. Just kind of whenever they feel like it. And then usually they'll end at around 2.30 p.m. or 3 o'clock p.m. Prisoners and visitors sit across from each other on plastic chairs in a really cold room. The insider continued to claim, sometimes there's food in the vending machines, but often it'll go for weeks at a time with nothing. It's very uncomfortable. Partners are allowed to have a kiss and a hug at the beginning and the end of visitation. Up until a couple of weeks ago, they actually allowed inmates and visitors to hold hands. It was really lovely, but they rotated another guard onto the shift and now they're not allowing that anymore. Without a crystal ball was the first to report Anna visited the prison with her children. The outlet obtained photos of the wife and all seven kids leaving the facility after a visit. FCI Seagaville did not respond to the U.S. Sun's request for comment. The U.S. Sun previously reported on the harsh and dangerous conditions inmates are forced to endure behind bars. The source claimed to the U.S. Sun. The food they get is regularly expired. They're just like really disgustingly expired, always by at least a couple of weeks and it's like milk. All sorts of like stuff that can't be expired for that long. They had a run of cereal that had bugs in it, and so people just couldn't eat their cereal because it was filled with bugs. The insider continued to allege that the prison runs out of food kind of often. The source claimed, It's only ever been like a one or two day thing at a time, but the portions are also small enough to where if you can't afford to buy food on commissary, you're going hungry. The inmate of the family member reportedly lives in a four-person cell with 11 other prisoners, as cells are often overcrowded. The prison runs on generators, according to the insider, causing daily power outages. The source alleged, they go without electricity or heating for days, even when a big cold front came through Texas. They didn't have any hot water for days at a time. They've been through six generators in the past six weeks because they keep burning them out instead of just fixing the electricity. Conditions go down to the 50s when the heat goes out. The source also alleged the prison has rats. The insider also previously claimed to the U.S. Sun that Josh and nearly 2,000 of his fellow inmates live in a hostile environment and suffer medical neglect. The source claimed to the U.S. Sun, there's not really much security around because they're dramatically understaffed. The prison has pretty heavy politics, which means there are gangs in it. Fortunately, it is nowhere near as violent as a medium security facility. It's not actually a very violent facility. But it is just a dangerous situation, given the level of neglect, and so I know that my family member has felt concerned for his. I guess I would say he's always concerned for his well-being, even if he feels physically safe. The insider also alleged inmates are left waiting for medical care, as the prison doesn't always hold sick call on the scheduled days. 
The source claimed, My family member hasn't received any medical treatment for it in two and a half years for his disability. He's asked, and they keep telling him that he's on the list. He needs glasses, and he's been on the list to get an optometry appointment for over a year and still hasn't gotten any. My family member has had situations where he's had a cold or COVID. And sometimes it's a couple of days before he's able to get any kind of attention at all. The insider added, Someone I know said her husband is always sick because he's just constantly always cold and undernourished. Josh was arrested and charged with possessing and receiving child pornography in April 2021. The trial lasted two weeks before the jury submitted a guilty verdict, as Anna was in court every single day.